Well, this is the printer bot merrily printing away a filament spool hub and uh, three millimeter white ABS running at about 230 degrees C. The bed temperature is 80 degrees C according to the thermistor, but in fact it reads a little low, so the IR thermometer would tell me it's closer to 100 degrees. A few changes since the last time I videoed this running. You can see I'm using the binder clips with the top little spring removed for clipping the glass down. Very important to get the glass clipped totally flat to the red PC board heater. I initially did not have it completely clamped down flat and that was an issue. Uh, it caused me a lot of grief trying to get things set right until I figured out I had to get enough clamps down to keep it totally flat. And four was sufficient, but three was not sufficient. I guess I should have figured that out. A few other changes. You can see I have a new extruder latch printed out from Thingiverse here that's got a built-in filament guide. What's nice is, is it also has traps for the nylock nuts, so you can adjust the spring tension with just a screwdriver. You don't have to hold the nuts down, the, uh, the latch holds it themselves. You can see my filament guides sitting on top of the smooth rods. Those are nice and printed. And I've got the Z-axis nut traps blocked off so that if you accidentally bottom the carriage you don't have to suddenly go manually move the nuts. It keeps the nuts trapped. And probably the biggest change and not a good one was that uh, while trying to change the printhead tip out I accidentally shorted something out and blew the wires going to the thermistor. So I had to make a little field expedient repair that you can see there. There's some Teflon tubing kind of snaking around there. The uh, temperature there is too hot for normal solder, so I just had to do a crimp and uh, wrapped it in Kapton tape. And as you can see, it seems to be working. But I need to figure out a more permanent repair for that. Uh, you can see the wiring management's a little better than last time I took a video here. We've got some uh, loom covering up the big wiring snake harness that goes everywhere. So that's nice, very attractive. Uh, I changed out the power supply to something a little more beefy. This is one I just happened to have laying around. I think the fan is a little wobbly on it. You can probably see it starting and stopping a little bit. as the, I must have a bearing out of true or something, but for as little load as we're putting on it, I think it's probably okay. And so it's sitting there merrily printing away. I have managed to print uh, 200 and 100 micron prints. This happens to be a 400 micron layer print uh, because I don't really need it to be that thin slices for something I'm just going to use as a filament spool. The software here, you can see this is Repetier Host running on a laptop, running under Linux and you can see it's kind of showing me what it's drawing there coming up in red and it's a little bit behind the printer is the printer buffers a little bit so if you see it drawing in red over there it will turn around and start actually drawing it for real over here in a few minutes and other than that that's about it printer bot plus